Hi, this is Dr. Jude, just here to give you a quick instructional video um, to supplement some of the lecture materials um, to help you review some of the basic Unix commands that we just went over the other day in class. Um, so just to remind you all, uh, some of the basic commands we learned, uh, one of the most important ones, these are most important for how to navigate around your computer and how to know where things are located. And this is, as I mentioned in class, one of the more difficult things to sort of get used to as you're transitioning over to a command line environment. So right now, I just launched a terminal window, or if you're on a Windows machine, a Segwin window, and I'm in my home directory. And you can tell I'm in my home directory because of right here, it tells me the location where I'm at. This little squiggly line actually means um, all the stuff from my root slash user slash um, the home etc if I type up PWD this little squiggly actually uh, means this part right here and so I know that I'm in my home directory if I want to see what's in my home directory I type ls to list things and as you can see I list everything that is in these files if I then were to go through a Windows environment and look, I can see that all the stuff that I listed in that directory is also observable here in this Finder window. So it's all the same information, you know, Anaconda files, all the other directories, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, it's all there. If I want to also list it, I can list it in different formats. I can list it in long format using ls-l. Um, I can also even do fun things like list it by time, so I can sort it by time, so that here um, you'll see that the last thing listed is um, uh, the thing that I was, that's the oldest, and I can even reverse it so that the thing that I listed last is the newest thing by using LTR. Um, so there's lots of different commands that you can use to use list, and if I wanted to figure out what some of the other parameters I could add to this command whenever I use it, I can use the command man and ls to pull up the manual for the program and I can use the arrows to go up and down um, to see what are all the different things that I could use ls with and then if I want to get out of this window all I do is I hit the, the letter Q and that quits me out of it. So in addition to list um, I might want to navigate around uh, my directory and so let's say I wanted to go into my bin directory to do that, I need to change directory, so I use cd, type bin, and now if I look to see where I'm at, I'm inside the bin directory. Um, I can list here and I can see all the various programs that I've put in this bin directory. If I wanted to go back to where I was before, remember I'm inside this bin directory right here, right, which is inside my home directory, which is inside the users directory, which is inside the root directory. I want to back up one place, I use cd dot dot and <clears throat> I'm back where I thought I was. If I go back into bin, if I want to back up two, two spots in my directory, I use cd dot dot slash dot dot slash. And if I do this, I should be back in the users directory. If I type pwd, that's exactly where I'm at. If I just type cd, it always brings me back to my home directory, so I'll type that and just restart over again. So let's go back into my bin directory. Uh, one thing that I uh, didn't show you a lot of was if I wanted to make, uh, if I wanted to look inside of a file, I can use a command called less. Um, there's two commands to view text files. There's less. Uh, let's see, let's, let's just look at the readme. I can look at this file and see what's inside of it. It's just a text viewer. I, if I can't edit the file at all, given how it is, I can quit out of it. Or I could use a different program called more. So say I want to look in this bowtie script file. I can use more. You'll notice that more cycles through the entire, entire file and just runs right through the whole, printing the whole thing to the screen. Um, if it was a longer file, if it was a longer file such as this chromosome um, uh, Python script, you would see that I need to, I can't, I can't go up, but I can go down. Um, 
And so I can use the space bar to go down. I can use the error bar to go down. I can actually go up a little bit, but that doesn't always happen. It depends on which version of more you have. And it'll take me to the all the way to the end. If I use less to do the same thing, then now I can go up and down. I can go down with the space bar. I can go up with the U key. I can go all the way to the bottom using shift G. I can go all the way to the top use pressing G, just the lowercase G. I can also search for different motifs, so I could search for the word four, and it'll outline every single spot that I find a four, and I can just use this slash to go to the next spot. So less is a great way to look at your files um, if you just want to peek in and see what's in there. And of course I hit Q to get out of it. Um, one last thing, again, if you want to copy a file used to program CP, I can copy this into a different file. Now if I look, I've now created this file called test sh. I can also remove that file using the command rm. And finally, I can uh, rename a file. So if I wanted to uh, move a file into a new name, I could use the mv file and I could call it something like variant call-2.sh. And then if we look, <clears throat> I renamed the file now from bear call, variant call.sh to bear call.2.sh. I can also move that file to another directory if I wanted to. So say I want to put in my home directory, one directory behind me. If I then back up, I can see there it is. All right. So please take some time to fill out the work, the little quiz that I've put online and Hope you enjoyed the lesson.